chanting, I remember there was a one stanza of the chanting. It says uh, uh, the essence of the Bud Buddha's teaching. Uh, it says, Digba uh, chiya mechashing. Means uh, do no harm. That's what it says. Digba, the first line is do no harm. So, uh, you know, whatever you do, even though you cannot help others, uh, only thing what you can do or just not to do is do not harm. So, uh, Buddha said, there's the one line, do no harm, digpa chi ami chashin. Gewa pusum sobar che, there's the second line, uh, means uh, actually uh, do your best. So that's the second line. Do no harm, do your best. And rang uh, semne yonsu dul means uh, totally calm your mind. You know, calm your mind. And dinne uh, sangye tembayin means uh, that's the teaching of Buddha. That's what it says. You know, there's a simple four line. And uh, I always say, uh, uh, whenever I do introduction on the Buddhism, uh, I recite this word. And uh, so simply, like, uh, uh, if people ask you, uh, you are studying Buddhism, so what is the message of Buddha? What is like, uh, you know, we don't want to hear uh, all this uh, Buddha's teaching. You know, it's like there's a lot. What is the real essence of the Buddha's teaching? Like uh, there is like a, this person called Buddha Shakyamuni, Siddhartha Kautama, uh, this you know Indian prince who was born in this uh, uh, you know kingdom called the Kapila Vastu, and uh, like uh, he actually gave up his uh, what do you call uh, all his luxurious lifestyle of uh, being a prince, and uh, then he went he wandered and uh, he went into the forest and meditate and uh, after a few years of meditation he got to this point that uh, he realized something and uh, so after he realized something then he came out into the world and he shared this message right he shared this message and what did he say and what was like uh, you know uh, for 45 years actually he has been teaching uh, and uh, what was he teaching, really? What was the main message that he was doing? And, uh, and that is the message, you know. It's like uh, actually a three line saying, do no harm. And uh, actually, uh, it's as simple as it gets, <laughs> really. Do no harm. Like, you know, really, uh, we don't have to do harm. <laughs> Right? It's like uh, being in life, like we are born here in this world, in this life. Uh, actually, uh, it's really easy. It's just easy not to harm. And uh, uh, just like uh, we don't like, actually we don't like to harm. And uh, we don't like uh, harm actually. Like uh, when we see some other people harming someone, we don't like it. Do we like that or not? Like uh, when we see somebody get harmed or hurt, uh, do we appreciate that? We don't really appreciate that, right? We kind of like uh, saying, why do they do that? It's like it really shows that it is like in our nature that we really don't like harm. We don't want to harm. And we don't like to harm other person. We don't have, like to harm ourselves. So Buddha's message of first line, he's saying, do no harm. So do not harm. So just kind of like, a, uh, you know, whatever you do, just do not harm. And that's like, if you don't harm anybody, then you're okay. <laughs> like, uh, you actually, your life is okay. So... Then, you know, the second line is uh, saying Gewa Pusum Sovarche means uh, do your best. So, in our life, we have to do something. 
right? So you want to do something, then you know we all have a different potential, like uh, in in our life. Like uh, we, some people can paint, some people cannot paint, some people can cook, some people cannot cook. Some people are good at something, some people are not good at something. You know, just it is, it's the way it is. Like, uh, in whatever we do, just do your best. So, then there's no regret. You know, like if you're doing something, if you're cooking something, do your best in that. And then, like, uh, if people don't like it, then, you know, like really, you don't, ha you don't have to blame yourself or you don't have to blame anybody. Because uh, you will just, you know, take that as I did my best. I did whatever I can do, so I did my best. So when you do anything your best, then that is called a virtuous act. Actually, you know, like sometimes even these two words, like "gewa dikpa chia mishashing," like the word "dikpa" in Tibetan. Sometimes I see that translation as a sin. Like a S I N sin, like digpa. You know, actually, uh, digpa is not like a, I don't know. Sin, the word sin has a, some sort of negative connotation. Like you know, sin is like a, you know based on that original sin. Uh, you know that we have this negative connotation, but actually, digpa means what is sin from the Buddhist point of view? Sin is uh, actually harm. So if you harm yourself, or if you harm other person, or even if you harm uh, the flowers, if you harm the water, if you harm, if you make harm means uh, something is in harmony, and you make it disharmony. That's harm. You know, like something is like a, a living in harmony, and you destroy that harmony, and that's what it's called, the, like you know, harm. So whatever you do, if you harm and you disrupt it, the harmony of you know whatever it is, like uh, if, if, whether it is like about sentient being or whether it is about plants or water or you know whatever it is, the living thing, if we disrupt it, the harmony of that thing, then that is considered to be harm, and that is what actually called the sin. That's like you know, like the harm. So we like uh, do no harm and do your best. So whatever you do, do your best, and that's just the second line. And then the third line, then it says that calm your mind, because uh, your mind is really powerful. Your mind is really powerful, and uh, whatever you do, like uh, with your mind, if it is not calm. Then nothing is calm. So bring harmony in your mind. So that's what you know. Like uh, when we talk about uh, calmness, calm means again harmony. You know, harmony like uh, in our mind. So when our mind is like uh, not in harmony, when um, when mind is conflicted, say like uh, like there's like a one thought arises, and then another thought arises, and these two thoughts fight. Then what is it? That's called the conflict, right? It's a conflict. So uh, we, when we create conflict in our mind, then there is this kind of uh, we lost the harmony in our mind. When we lost the harmony in our mind, then we lost the peace in our mind. So when we lost the peace in our mind, then there is no happiness, even though we have so many happiness outside in the physical world. We have so many, you know, no matter how much harmony we can create outside, if there is no harmony inside, if there is a conflict inside, the inner conflict, then everything is in conflict. So that is why calm your mind means bring harmony in your mind, and that's more important. Because everything is a projection of your mind, and we all have this mind which is so powerful, and this is like a, something that we can actually utilize it to bring happiness into ourselves. 
and to bring peace in our life. And how can we bring joy, happiness, peace in ourselves is by calming our mind. So then all the teaching, you know, is really talking about how to calm your mind, right? It's just like uh, everything is like, uh, like, you know, all the techniques or instructions that Buddha has given and all the master in the past, you know, they have given what they went through, all the practices, all the teachings, everything is actually about how to calm our mind, how to bring harmony, how to bring peace, how to bring happiness in our mind. So that's why calm your mind. And it's just simple, you know, it's a simple few words, calm. <laughs> calm your mind. And, uh, but then maybe that's the most difficult one. <laughs> We have this mind that is like not really calm. It's just like, a, you know, we call this a monkey mind, right? This monkey mind is just like everywhere. It just goes from, it jumps from one place to another. And it's, you know, it goes much faster than the speed of light. <laughs> so mind moves actually faster than the speed of light. Like uh, at one point it is there, it's, it's, you know, it's there, just like, and uh, so our mind is this like uh, so uh, unique actually, it has, it has got so much potential and uh, it can, if it damage, it damage a lot and if it's create, then it creates a lot too. So that's why mind is uh, very powerful. So that's why the main focus in the Buddhist practice is actually how to calm your mind. So that's why three, three, three things, you know, like if people ask you what is the essence of the Buddhism, then you can just say that. You know, it's nothing about, about what you believe, what you don't believe. It's not something about, you know, faith or belief or something like uh, existence of a, uh, you know, exter like what do you call, like the, like exterrestrial, what is that called, ET? <laughs> Extraterrestrial <laughs> aliens, right? <laughs> Beings or, you know, or some, some, some invisible person up in the sky, you know, if there's like uh, some kind of like a heaven in some, you know, like a place called heaven or some place called hell. It's nothing about believing in heaven. It's nothing about believing in hell. It's nothing about believing in some sort of aliens or anything. The, you know, like uh, the essence of the Buddha's teaching is these three lines. Do no harm, do your best, calm your mind. See, that's like, that's the teaching of the Buddha and you can, like, you can just say it, you know, just, it is not about it. if you believe in this or not. It is we don't really, really doesn't matter. Like you know, that's why Buddha always said that I don't care. <laughs> this is what I say, and it is up to you. You know, like a, I'm not talking about some sort of like a invisible thing that is exist or not. And uh, whatever it is, just you know, this is like here. This is life. That's what he's saying in life. You know what can we what what can we do like uh, what can bring happiness? You know it will you will be more happier if you do no harm and if you do your best and if you calm your mind if you do these three three things then you're okay. <laughs>